Oh yes, it is a big one. Big and two, it is. Oh! How big? Four pounder. Well, I'm back again, and thank you for clicking on this video and watching it. It's gonna be a excitement. It's a fish for sight event at Lake of the Ozarks, and it's a little rough, a little bumpy. And the uh, fish are somewhat cooperating. So before I get in, before we get into the video, what's going on in today's world with forward-facing sonar, gang? It's all I can see on the on on YouTube anymore. Um, I'm going to tell you, I I got my own personal opinion on it, and yes, I have it, and I would want somebody to notice one thing. This year on my rig, I've run less electronics than I ever have. But yes, I have had that particular one item forward facing. It's a it's a active target by Lawrence. Um and as long as it's a legal in these AAA level fishing tournaments, you better have it because it's it really gathers a lot of information that you never got from side imaging. Um, I'm not. My opinion is really unimportant. I do like it. I think for me, it excites me more. It doesn't take away the nostalgia part of it for me. I look over there, I can see the fish now. I'm even more excited that they might bite. I might get a chance to reel them in, but I want people to realize also that that, that doesn't make the fish bite. You throw over there. I mean, the very first one I had was a, was a Garmin and I used to call it the humble scope because my God, how many times you th really work to see the fish and work to see the fish on the cover and work to see your bait, keep it all in the cone and see the fish just ams gray. He's done. He's not fooled at all. And so almost half the fish react that way. I mean, what's it telling you? Well, it's telling you all kinds of information that you need to change baits, color sizes, techniques, all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of information coming back on that thing. It doesn't just make the fish bite. It does show you the angles at which to cast. With the forward facing, you point it, look. Okay, it's 43 feet that direction. That's what it does for you. Um, and if you really focus like in the winter on winter time when the fish don't really move quite as fast as they do now. They're a lot easier to keep in the frame. You could actually throw your jerk bait out, look at it and see them come up to it. Um, same thing with the Alabama rig, but that's the only time I really, really try to look at how they're reacting to it. it, it I mean, it's Randy's right. Randy Blockett, I, I watch his videos and yes, he makes you see both sides of the coin. That's what I love about Randy. And no, I don't agree with him all the time. It's probably less than half the time, but the older I get, I think to the young people, it's so important that you realize there's always two sides to, to a story, two sides to a coin. So, um, keeps you objective folks. Makes you look at the other side. Makes you walk a few feet in somebody else's shoes. I think that's important. So today it's Gary Scharcher and myself. We're at Lake of the Ozarks. We're fishing in a charity event, and it's a really good one. It's called Fish for Sight. It was around for years at Truman. We used to fish it at Truman, and um, they slowly pulled it over to Lake of the Ozarks. Gets a little more attention. Tournaments in general tend to draw more boats at Lake of the Ozarks than they do at Truman certain times of the year. Obviously, there's some times of the year, like when it's warm and it's really rough, that the tournaments have, you know, they slow up at Lake of the Ozarks, and we don't have as many. That's when Truman shines. So it works out perfectly. So it's Gary Scherzer and myself, and we're going to try to get it done for you. It's a little rough. It's a little bumpy. I apologize about the uh, audio. Hope you enjoy it. Like, comment, all that good stuff. Subscribe. Always trying to get more subscribers, folks. Here we go.
Uh, we have not signed up yet. Okay. Can I get you to fill this out? Sure. So there's not a normal launch, or is there a normal no. launch? No. No. Okay. So you're lying in the water. 7.30. 7.30. You need to come back by boat. Okay, come back by water. Uh-huh. You have to be back by 3.30. I don't know. It's a big lake, and you can't do both. No. Yeah, it's a tough call. I don't know. You got a coin? <laughs> we got coins. As we go up... Tails, we go down. I'm not even looking. It's tails. It's tails. Tails. We go down. We're just going to go with fishing. Uh oh. Oh! How big? Four pounder. Where do you find that? <laughs> suicide back. throw. I totally suicide throw. It's all right. You gotta get him on. I did. He jumped. He went to jump and he and hit the bar and. Knocked the jig clean out of his mouth. Did, uh, did you get it on the drop? No. Well, I don't know. I threw back there in the corner, and when I picked up, he was all the way here. And he already ran all the way under here with it. So that's my first real bite. Well, I had a real bite back there, too. That's two real bites. Now. That's... And that had a mouth like that, dude. Good. So I threw it all the way to the corner, and when I picked it up, he was straight down on the bottom, felt like, you know, bushy and done swallowed it. I figured I'd had him. I figured he swallowed it, dude. I, didn't I pounded him. It's that little jig. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. But. That last one, that was a real one. I never felt anything. Fish. Hit him hard. But he is long. Here. He is there. Yeah. That's a seat. So. I'm not so sure the corn coin coin flipped it. Yeah, I could have. Ooh. Wind pushing on this side of the shady side. Come on.
fish. Yeah, I got him out. It's a big old fish, too. No, it isn't. It isn't. Damn, I thought he was a big one. He was caught up in the brush. Did you see that rod? I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was like, oh, yeah, I finally got him. And I barely got him on top of that. Whoa, what was that? Damn it. Damn it. I lost my piece, too. Yeah, we just lost the piece. I have to take that off. Damn it. Need the scissors real quick. Where's that? Uh, in the in the drawer there. Middle where the phones are is what I think I put it. More problems. Uh, oh, God, Good one? I don't know. I he shook his head two or three times. There's a bass. Just took off. I didn't look like a keeper, but I guarantee I had one right here. He's sitting right there. Come on, swing him in here. He's a keeper, ain't he? Put him on the board. I think he is. Be close. I bet he is. I think he's about fifteen and a half. Just drop him in. No, I mean the the people are floating around. Yeah, right on the spot. Actually, it's just next to it. Right next to it. It is. It's on the in between these two. There's a little something right down this side too. Oh, it's there. Yeah, big and yeah. Oh yes, it is a big one. Caught him. Skin hooked him. Oh, he's got a huge gizzard in his throat. He does? Yes. A giant. Either that or it's a bluegill. Sorry. It was such a good bend in your rod, I 
departed with mine, leaving it. Got a good one? Oh yeah, it is. I think it's a keeper. Oh yeah. Keep his head up, Gary. Competitors. Here, take it back with you. Got it? Good. At least I get to weigh in now. Have a video. Couple rats. I would say uh, 12 to 13 pounds. Maybe 13. here I'm gonna go up and get the bag and then I'm gonna get the keys and take the fish up there and then come down with the yep. I'll just meet you right here
Let's go. Okay. Bottom right. Port pump out. Shut it off. Shut the, shut the pump off. Too. And I'm going to need the measuring board for number one. Just to make sure he didn't shrink. Here. No, we're fishing in the fish for sight. Struggle bill. Come on, trim it. It was just a kind of tough. But worse boat traffic. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't none of them big enough to call a big fish. 95? How many fish? I wouldn't even weigh them. Just dump them in there. I don't think there's a big fish worthy. I don't think so? Okay. Yeah, hell no. You got five little babies. Got five babies. All right, here we go. Good to see you, brother. How about a weight of 1256? 1256. Just saving it for like. <laughs> We're going home. Boat number, gentlemen. We're going. 85, Thanks, last son. name. McCracken. 85, McCracken. Boat 85, McCracken. Well, that wraps up the fish for sight at Lake of the Ozarks. Gary Charger and myself, well, we decided what direction we were going to go based on the flip of a coin. I know, that sounds crazy, but we hadn't done a lot of practice and we have a fair amount of knowledge of the lake. We thought we'd just fish that lower end if it was uh, tails and upper end if it was heads and it came up tails. So. That's how we roll. It is what it is. We had a really good time. Just didn't fish as good as we'd hoped. The lake is full of fish. I'm pretty sure it took 16 or 17 pounds to win. And our 1250 will probably just fall somewhere just outside of the check line. We didn't have 100 boats, so I don't know. We might have got a check. It is what it is. Had a good time. It was for a very good cause. It's nice when you fish for a good cause. Hey, like this kind of content? Smash the like button. Consider subscribing. Till next time. Thanks for watching. I get it. I, <laughs> I get it. I do understand. 160 is everything? 160, 180 is everything. Oh boy. Three pounder. From the chop hoe. Chop the heck out of everything. What? Is that? 
Can you get him out? Oh my gosh, that's the one. Can you get him up? Keep him up. Did he? <laughs> Hell yes. That's a good cold, dude. Someone, somebody's getting cold by him. 